Whether you're looking for large files, hidden files, files of a specific file type, or just a particular file that you can't seem to find, I've got you covered. Here are the most efficient ways to find any file on macOS. Let's start with large files. Go to the Apple menu, System Settings, General, and then Storage. From here, you can see how much space you're using on your computer. But more importantly, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a list of categories. Next to each category, it says how much space files in that category are taking up. And if you click on the Info button, a list of files in that category appears ordered from largest to smallest. So you could click on a particular file and then click Delete, or you could click on Show in Finder to see its exact location. This is hands down the most efficient way to delete large files on your Mac. Okay, we've got the big files out of the way, literally. Now let's talk about finding specific files. Your first resort should almost always be Spotlight. You can click on the magnifying glass at the top right corner of your screen, or just press Command and Spacebar. From the Spotlight search box, you can search for literally anything. You'll notice that the results are sorted by category so that you can more easily find what you're looking for. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of results that you're getting in Spotlight, however, I have the perfect solution for you. Go to the Apple menu, System Settings, and then Siri and Spotlight. From here, using the checkboxes, you can customize the type of results that you get in Spotlight searches. I recommend turning off Contacts, Definition, Events and Reminders, Fonts, Mail and Messages, Movies, Music, and Tips, unless you specifically use Spotlight to find those items. This will give you a more streamlined Spotlight search experience. However, if you still can't find a particular file in Spotlight, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Search in Finder. This will open up a Finder window with your search results, and I recommend using List View here. Okay, now here's the secret. To the top right of the Finder window, you'll notice that there's a plus button. And when you click on it, this will create a new filter for your search. You can choose what you want to filter by in the first dropdown, and the options to the right will adjust accordingly. So let's say that we know the file we're looking for was created within the last month. We could choose the Created Date option, and then choose our date range. At first glance, it appears that we only have a few filtering options, but by clicking on Other, we are presented with an insane list of filtering options that we can use here in Finder Search. For example, we could search for Size in here, click the checkbox, and now Size will always be available as an option in our drop-down list of criteria. Another useful one to add is File Extension, so we can easily search for files of only a specific file type. So back in our Finder search results, we can choose File Extension and then type PDF to search for only PDF documents. You can add multiple filters to a search by clicking on the plus icon again at the top right of the Finder window. If this is a search that you'd like to run easily later on, you can click on the Save button at the top right of the window. This allows you to create a saved search. Give it a descriptive name, click Save, and now this search is easily available from the sidebar in any Finder window. Because we started this search from Spotlight, it's literally searching our entire computer. But we can search specific folders by navigating to that folder in Finder, so you can go into, say, your Documents folder, and then click in the search box at the top right of the Finder window, enter your query, and hit Return. Now you'll see your search results come up, but at the top of the Finder window, you'll notice that it says it's searching this Mac, so it's still searching your entire computer but you can simply click on the folder name to the right to display results only from within that folder. And then you can use your filters just like we did before, but only filtering files that are specifically in this particular folder. Speaking of Finder windows, let's talk about how we can customize our Finder window to make finding files on Mac easier from this day forward. With a Finder window open, click on the Finder menu at the top, then Settings, and then click on the Sidebar tab. From here, you can use the checkboxes to determine which locations are displayed in the sidebar of every Finder window. If there's a particular folder that you plan on accessing regularly, you can simply drag that folder to the sidebar, wait till you see a horizontal line, and then drop it, and that folder will be accessible from the sidebar of Finder from this day forward. To more easily understand where files are located on your computer, with a Finder window open, click on the View menu, and then click on Show Path Bar. 
This will add a little bar at the bottom of your finder windows, showing you where files are located, making it easy to click on other folders that are higher level to easily access those folders and see what's inside those as well. Oh yeah, and don't forget that whenever you're in Finder, you can always click on the Go menu at the top and gain access to a lot of common locations on your Mac computer. It's time to talk about some harder to reach files on your Mac. If you're having trouble with a particular application and you want to find the files associated with that application, well, you just need to view inside the package. Wait, what? That's just Mac lingo, I'll show you. Go to your Applications folder, right-click on the application in general, and click Show Package Contents. See, I told you, now you can see all of that application's files. It's best not to mess with these files if you don't have a reason, but if a particular application is acting up, now you know the best place to look. Since my goal is to show you how to find any file on Mac, there is a group of files that, by default, are hidden. But we can change that. To show hidden files from within any Finder window, just press Command, Shift, and Period. If there are any hidden files in that folder, they'll now be displayed. Not all locations on your Mac will have hidden files. They're generally configuration files, system files, and some cached files. So if you don't have a reason to mess with them, it's best to leave them alone. But now you certainly know how to find any file on Mac OS. If you're looking for other ways to get the most out of your Mac, don't forget to check out my full tutorial on using Mac OS. I hope you found what you were looking for in this video and also that you find the files that you're looking for on your Mac computer. If you found the video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you want to see more Mac content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.